Hey guys, welcome back. 20 foot tall wheels. 20 foot tall. I've had that idea on there for a very long time. Well, ever since I was born. But there's a truck called Bigfoot, which has 10 foot tall wheels. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this for a very long time and we finally got the time to do it. I've been posting a couple teasers on my Instagram to get people kind of hyped up for it. And a lot of people said, uh, it's not possible because the wheelbase is too short and how the heck would you get it 10 feet in the air and how would you steer and all that? Why would I want to steer? They're 20 foot tall wheels, bro. Okay, that's out of the picture. So, okay. On the truck, we have a 12 foot wheelbase. So the only way to make a 20 foot tall wheel work is to, which, okay, this is to scale. 20 footer, 20 foot tall wheels. They're that big. That's what they look like on the truck. 20 foot tall wheels. So the only way to make those work is to overlap in the middle. So we have a four foot overlap, which means we have 15, 20 spacers back here, and we have about four to eight up here. So that's a nice overlap there. It gives us a little bit of room actually to steer if it wanted to, but not much. So that puts the bottom of the truck, the, the bottom of the rocker panel, 10 feet off the ground. 10 feet. To build these wheels, we're using 4x4 treated lumber that we hand carved ourselves from Lowe's. We're using 75 trees out of Mr. Beast's planted 20 million trees to make 10 huge spokes and a bunch of pieces of wood to go in between those and stuff. So the only way to mount these, since it's 10 feet in the air, we have the Trenches of Doom. Now we're going to carve this into a hillside, the steepest hill on the farm, our ramp back there. We're going to carve it into the hillside in loose gravel and drive the truck up in between those. We will then proceed to drop the wheels into the trenches and drive right out of that hillside. That's our plan. So I don't see what could go wrong with all this. Seems really safe. Like I said, I've been wanting to do this a really long time. I just haven't really had the, the help or materials to do it. So we're finally gonna do it. So uh, enjoy the video. Big ours entire section of lag bolts air clay. We got we're gonna break like the basket. 70 pounds. <laughs> Every spoke of a wheel, this is a wheel spoke, is a tree. Now that we uh, kind of stand them up there, you know, there's a little bit of, of height to them. A little bit. We that don't is... even have it stood up all the way yet. It's still going up. Uh, that's like almost all the reach the excavator has, actually. <laughs> Holy crap. They look way smaller on the ground. They do. They look so tiny on the ground. <laughs> that's taller than a house. This, this one plate here wasn't enough to reinforce it, so... Obviously, we're trying to flip it over right now. It's flopping like a freaking pancake. Like, like I almost got to have a giant spatula to come up under and just flip it right away. Throw it up in the air because it's like, well, it's just not enough to hold it. It's bending this quarter inch plate here. So uh, we have half inch or we have another quarter inch plate to put on here with angle iron coming down to try to reinforce it some. So we're going to flip this over now and hopefully it doesn't shatter into a million pieces. And then we got three more to go. So, yeah, they look way tinier on the ground. Oh, yeah. That was pretty smooth.
eight foot trenches on each side and we are going to pull the truck up onto this little sliver of extremely unstable dirt and then mount them on. The only way we could get it to be stiff is to put angle iron. Uh, we have three foot by three inch angle iron going uh, to the center plate, which is then welded, which is then lag bolted with those massive bolts into there, which goes around the center plate there. We're all packed up and ready to go for tomorrow, just our normal supplies. Got about 19 feet of far from stock wheel spacers packed up here. Uh, the front seat's full too, and the bed as well, so. Lag bolt trip number three. We have 250 more here. That's empty, that's empty. All right, so we got Jason down here cutting. It's like one in the morning, guys. We got Jason cutting. Clayton is power washing the truck. So now we're going to transport them over to the other field and we're going to bolt them on. What are you doing up there? Hey, I had to fix this real quick. It's falling apart. measured the trench uh, for the red truck to drive in between here for the wheels to fit in between there and the wheels hang off a little bit so if you know anything about trenches they cave in often when you drive trucks on top of them so we got a bunch of pallets and lumber here we're gonna try to make somewhat of a platform so that we can drive the truck up on there that was very much more work than I expected. Uh, there was three of us out here in the field working for seven days, a full week now probably. 10 hours a day, sometimes 15 hours, out until one in the morning, just welding on plates and stuff. So we didn't anticipate having to build an entire freaking uh, mining road to get on top of the trenches here. You can see here the trench caved in once already right there. You can see it's like shearing away on the sand. They don't flex much, maybe six inches at most with a load on them. So we should be good. We've been welding and plasma cutting for a very long time. Our plasma cutter actually went out halfway through this. So we had to drill the last one, which is not fun. So today is the last day of this project. At the end of the day, either that truck is driving off into the sunset or it's upside down with everyone hanging out the windows. Without further ado, let's pull up onto the trenches of doom here. hanging like a foot over the it trench It did not right like now. that flex. <sighs> this whole side is like hanging over right now. We're gonna have to clean that out a we little can, bit. We can take it out. Just, oh my god. <laughs> that 
I, I don't like it's it's not fun driving on the trench and seeing the dirt fall off below you <laughs> that's like on the the journey to the center of the earth or walking across the pieces of rock ah! oh my god okay okay safety first on this channel always remember a setup like this is extremely dangerous you have like ten thousand pounds above your head supported by a fine layer of gravel so you never want to like dig away at the foundation Unless they have pictures for Instagram, so get me like digging away at this, it'd be hilarious. Like, far from stock spacers supporting this project. I hit that tow mirror, it's gonna fly right off. <laughs> Hitting the tow mirror. The wheel is in, the first wheel here. And I kind of expected this, but we're gonna have to jack up the truck about a foot and a half to get the lug pattern to line up. But it's working out pretty darn good. Without this excavator, we'd not be able to do any of this at all. Jason is digging out once again. This is so sketchy. We have one hub on, that that thing literally just slid right on. Dude, that, that was so sketchy. We have two jacks on there, they're like barely perched on there. Hey, that's plenty of lug nuts. Uh, yeah, don't even tighten them, we're good. Just let her down nice and easy. I'll let her down nice and easy because we got a big heavy wheel on here. Right. <laughs> that's mint. <laughs> you can't even tell if there's weight on it. It's like, look at that. Dude, the it's like- The weight of the truck is on that. You bolted an entire barn <laughs> to your front hub. Okay, we now have three jacks out here holding this thing up and one wheel is on. We're digging down again for the next wheel since we can't really go up much more it's kind of really unstable so and it's wanting to fall over right now so we gotta like hurry it's pretty rough it's, it's about to fall over this is a little sketch uh, yeah I can easily move that wheel a foot before I'm probably bending the tie rods right now actually this is this is so much bigger than I thought like well, on the ground they look really small those things are seven feet deep in the trench right now. this quite a while we have all the wheels mounted on if you take a trip around here um, this is the biggest this is the biggest baddest thing we've ever built without a doubt <sighs> it doesn't even look real you cannot tell there's a truck under there until you get towards the front guys um, <laughs> holy crap it's under its weight pretty good it's not swaying too much yet it is kind of reinforced by the trench here but uh, yeah it's 10 feet off the ground 10 feet off of the sea level ground, I guess. So, holy crap. Wow. You think these things way, are gonna hold? Way down in that trench. They're beefy, I hope they hold. We put we put so many lag bolts in these. Mostly lag bolts with a little bit of wood to hold them together. So, uh, <laughs> look at that. That's oh awesome. my I'm, gosh. I'm, I don't even have to like push on it with my finger hardly. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> I could break the studs off. Well, they're far from stock spacers, so maybe not. Uh, Billy Eilish is here. <laughs> um, that's Mrs. Whistling Diesel, by the way. Mrs. She's Whistling Diesel. Filming today, so that in case we all die, there's someone still to record. Well, sun's setting. It's now or never. Um, it, I think it's funny though how tall this is. When you're up here, it's like you're on a building, and it's not even out of the trenches yet. So I can't imagine once this is out of the trenches. If it gets out, it might not get out. 
So we have a plan for that if it doesn't get out. We'll but, make it get out. So what we have here, now y'all, y'all are probably gonna hate me, but I do wanna live through this, so. No, I will not be sitting in the truck once it's out on, all the way up on its own feet. Right here I will, I don't have a problem with it, but once we get out here, it's too dangerous. If it falls, a log could literally go through the cab. So, see over by the excavator, we got some spares just in case like when we break one, we could throw a spare on, so. Okay, I cannot express to you all the amount of work that this took. The biggest project we've ever done by far. Everyone's like, how are you gonna get in your door? <laughs> through the spokes. And then if it keeps rolling, you gotta jump out through the spokes while they're spinning. It's like one of those carnival games, you gotta, you know. <laughs> if you don't make it, you die. If this wheel breaks right now, I'm kinda getting sheared off, so I'm gonna tuck in here. Oh, she starts. Is it gonna spin? I'm gonna let my foot off the brake very slowly now. Very slowly. Wait. Oh. Okay, the wheels are turning. A they are. Bit. Oh, oh. A little yes. tiny bit. It's swaying the whole it's truck. It's swaying a lot. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take my foot off the brake now. My foot's coming off the brake. Nothing. Oh. Nothing happened. Almost. I'm gonna squeeze this all the way at once. Boosted launch. Give her a get, little bean. He's gonna be able to build up like 45 pounds of boost. We're building boost right now. Oh, oh. Yeah. It's like trying to move a house. It is. She wants to. Just crinkled her. Look at that. Oh, he did. Pull, finally, we pulled the Caitlyn Jenner mod. <laughs> Technic. Okay. Do we have the uh, spare drive shaft for the yes. go kart? Yeah. We can put that on. Put this. We'll put the jacks under this, and we'll throw the spare drive shaft in real quick. Here she is. The <laughs> we got a spare. Clayton's got the spare here with a U joint and everything. Other drive shaft on. Almost got the new one in? Yep. Okay, so this time we have it hooked up to the Cummins and we are just gonna do a full on, a full on sled pull with it. Um, we're just gonna take off four high as fast as we can go. I'm not gonna be in this thing because, well, obvious reasons, but I can still break the drive shaft from outside. Dude, this thing's filled with foam. Look at this that. thing's filled with It's got foam in there. That's crazy. Extend those tow mirrors. Much tension. Okay, just a little bit.
Well, we made it out of the trench. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's that sound? There's more pieces. Did we broke our throttle. Yeah, I know it pulled it right no. off. I could have been in there and not gotten hurt. I wish I was in there. You think it landed yeah. kind of gradually? It did. Yeah, it kind of crashed down. <laughs> well, six <laughs> days of work for yeah, 20 six seconds days of work for like this, this end, it <laughs> drove for like four seconds. Oh, our mirror, the mirror, it's the mirror. That's the other. So it, yeah, it broke. <laughs> Easy there, bud. Don't what, fall this, what happened to this face? Uh, it, oh, it, it, oh, it just pulled the steel out. Yeah. It pulled the steel out of that one. Not enough lug nuts. This is why I was really sketched out to sit in here. Because look at this. That was, this wheel, that's like, that could have come through the window. Because if it broke on top. It's wedged against her so hard right now. Is a lot to clean up well uh thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it long time in the planning this one was for like some sort of cool outro she could get us all like waving at the camera like oh, yeah. uh, wouldn't that be cool or right, give a thumbs up we all just like whoa oh, there whoa 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 <laughs> was this break dancing or something <laughs> <laughs> that there will get you yeah we all just like wave at the camera and then we could fade out like right there yeah that's cute <laughs> <laughs> Fade to black.